bros. Yes, this is very true. I mean, I don't know what else we'd be. Lawfully wedded. <laughs> That's true, yes, indeed. In the state of Kentucky? Oh, Laven, yes. The answer is yes. Well, I didn't ask anything, so let's move on. <laughs> oh, well, oh, Jack, did you mean you? I mean, I, I can totally get in. Listen on... to that disappointment in his voice. You're going to have to go <laughs> rewrite the ending to your fan fiction now. Uh-oh. You heard Keep it here going. first, folks. We got Laven on the mic. Yo, yo, yo. Check one, two, one, two. We got Wild Willis, as always. You heard him. He talked a lot. I Yeah. I mean, what else would I be doing on a podcast? And we got me. <laughs> the main man. Oh. You're so full of yourself, aren't you, Jack? Yo, you be illin'. <laughs> I not only be illin', I be straight up epidemicing. All right. What are we doing today on the Annie Bros? Willis, did you watch what you said you'd watch? I watched most of what I said I'd watch. All right. I don't know if that's going to cut it. Did you watch the main event? I believe so. I don't know what the main event is that we're talking about here right now. Because we were talking about two things. I don't know what anybody's talking about right now. You guys need to be less cryptic. I, right. I agree. Please be less cryptic. All right, Willis. You had one job. And that job was to watch The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. Oh, then the answer is yes. Okay, good. That's what I want to hear. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, cool. Is there anything else we need to talk about before that? Uh, well, I guess we're going to do our traditional segment called What Have You Been Watching? This is an easy one for me. I'll tell you exactly what I've been watching. Jack and shit. All right, all right. Those are two very good titles. Yeah. No, it's it's been virtually everything except for One Week Friends has been dropped. Just all of it pretty much sucks right now. I have been meaning to start No Game, No Life and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Haven't gotten around to them. But hey, now the now the queue is open. I don't have to deal with shit anymore. I can corroborate his story. Anime sucks. I've been watching Monster, you know that good old show. Uh-huh. I watched the first season of Tasagare Bukatsumono. It's very funny. Indeed. And then you know what I just started watching? I'm going to make you guys guess and play a little quiz game. Hmm. Laven, here's a hint. You have seen it. Okay, all right. So I like where this is going. Willis, you have not seen it. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that I... Need a little more of a hint. I've seen a lot of things. But what have you seen that Willis hasn't? Uh, again, several things, I'm sure. You're going to have to go one, one more. One more uh, hint. Space Runaway Ideon. Uh, Heavy Metal Elgheim. The ending for each oh. episode is different and is kind of weird. Hmm. The ending for each episode is different. It's a completely different song every episode. A different song? Sometimes it's, it's not even animation. This is tough. This is tough. It's my favorite genre of anime. Okay, all right. Okay, that, and now this is probably something that I'm surprised really hint, that, that's something I was thinking of that probably was anyway. Well, now this sounds like the kind of thing that I'm surprised Laven watched at all. I know. That's why these hints are so good. Laven, do you have it? A different song. Now, I don't... I think I might have it, but I don't remember if the thing I'm thinking of even has what you said in, in it. Well, go ahead and make some guesses. All right, my guess is Lucky Star. Oh, that's close. Okay, all right, it's close. It's, it's a close. show Lucky called Star. Racky Suda. Wait, I've seen that? No, it is Lucky Star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> great okay. job. All right, great. I've been I watching that for some reason. I downloaded it, and I wanted to watch something, and I didn't have anything else on my hard drive at the time, so I just went with it. Well, what's your new opinion now? It's better than I originally thought, but it's really weird. It's pretty weird. How far are you? I think like episode 20. All right. You got to watch the OVA at the end. Okay. That's the weirdest part of the whole thing. <laughs> now, see... You say that I didn't watch it, but I have seen the first episode of that show. Doesn't count. Okay. First of all, the first four episodes are directed by a different person. Really? I didn't mind the first four. Like, I can tell it's a different person, but it's not yeah, that I didn't, different. I didn't care at all. I like the first four. I don't know what everyone else is complaining about. Okay, so it's a show that changed 
styles a little bit in a, a little in bit, but not like enough to be like like oh. not even. Like if if somebody didn't tell you it changed, like I would not have known. That might be true as well, but I feel like. I guess it might be hindsight bias or something, but if you look back and you're like, well, they did kind of have these type of jokes a little more, or like maybe the dialogue was a bit different. The only thing that I noticed is that there's no transitions in the first four. It was just straight, just like as soon as a bit was over, it just immediately went to the next one. Just like, hey, how do you eat a cookie? Or I hate going to the dentist, you know? Oh, I know. In the later episodes, it would blend in between like them getting on the bus and then them walking in the house, and then them sitting down. And the first four, it would just jump cuts everywhere. Yeah, it's a good show. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's very... I don't think I've ever had such a hard time understanding so many jokes in a show. Like, some of the things, like, they are just having conversation, then they just stop talking, and then someone makes a reaction, and then that's the joke. Like, I really don't understand some of these. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe it's all about puns and it just doesn't work right, or I don't know. It's just really, really deep, deep rooted like Japanese culture jokes. Where I'm always like, I don't know if I get it. It must be, yeah, because it'll. A lot of them are, and that's then, what my friend said. Who, I don't know. He he's been to Japan and knows a bunch about that kind of stuff. And he's just like, no, it's all kinds of weird, like little minor jokes that no one's gonna understand unless they just grow up in Japan. Yeah, that must be exactly it. Hmm. I don't know. It's not. It's not bad though. It's relaxing enough. Hmm. Well, I guess there's that going for you. Whoopity do. That's a good, good, Annie. good addition, Willis. I like. You know that. what I always say: making top tier quality since 1995. I didn't even know they were around back then. That's what I've been saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. You heard it here first. Willis agrees. Wait, what? No. Laven, do you remember the, the endings for the second half of the show? It just no. has, It's the live action of that Shiraishi guy, like, singing and dancing. Oh, I do now kind of remember that, yes. Yeah, it's just him singing a different random anime song every episode, like, Standing by the Ocean, except he doesn't know all the words. Yeah. So he's just, yeah. like, saying random words and, like, doing little dance moves. I do remember that. That was funny. I don't know. What do you think about the Lucky Channel segments? They're all right. It's kind of the same joke every time, but... Yeah. When when they first came up, I thought they were funny, but then they kind of get old. They, they get into some weird stuff. They do some like funny stuff I don't expect all the time. Yeah, it's pretty funny, but it's still just like, oh, she's angry. She's not always angry. She's just upset at her job and her life. <laughs> I guess it never stops being, even though it is the same joke every time, it is always funny just because. She is always in these different circumstances that are essentially the same, and that's why it's funny because she's just like, why do I keep getting into this? <laughs> yeah. What else you guys want to talk about? What else even is there? Nothing, really. Well, speak for yourself, man. All right. Well, do you have something of note to talk about? We do have a main thing to talk about. So, I mean, we're just getting our. our initial greetings and uh what we've been up to out of the way did you guys right. hear doraemon's coming to the usa is it now now that is big news well that would have been big news in 1980 they're even doing like four kid style localizations hmm i don't know how i feel about that replacing yeah, things why they're doing that exactly i mean it is still a show that's intended for kids so it's not like crazy censorship insane it's not crazy to imagine that they're going to put it on four kids or whatever but it's crazy to think that they decided to reopen this case and bring that property over to the united states i don't know why they're doing this maybe because the movie might come out here they're gearing up for a movie release is this what you think have you seen that 3d movie they're coming out with for doraemon yeah no i haven't seen it i saw a trailer i guess it's kind of a big deal or something in America, even? Uh, I don't know if it's coming out in America, but it's like, you know, like CG level. All right. Like the latest well, CG. Well, fine. We have all kinds of dumb direct video Mickey Mouse things that don't matter to most of the other parts of the world. <laughs> like, I don't know why they just decided now is the time that we need to have Doraemon here in, in America. Well, I mean, 4Kids isn't even around. I just wanted to let you know that. 
they're kind of gone. Yeah, it's like four kids style. A dubbing studio. Yeah, I know it's four kids style, but Laven seemed to be under the impression that it was them who was doing it. I just was going off what Jack said. Well, then who is doing it then? If not them, I don't know. I just saw screenshots of like comparisons. Five kids. Like they <laughs> they change all chopsticks to forks, and like they change yen to dollars and they make skirts longer and they changed a first aid kit to a pizza wait what <laughs> yeah that was the funniest one there's no context hey, so. that's that's bullshit that's so stupid like come I guess on americans like don't have health care so they don't want to see like a first aid kit they'd rather relate to a pizza <sighs> yeah i mean that logic makes sense to me i don't know about you guys all uh, right okay okay some of those i could expect and be like okay whatever it's forks it's not chopsticks but whatever in yen to dollars fine but okay where was that friggin first aid kit to a pizza that doesn't seem to make any kind of sense i know it's wild <laughs> no 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 show it to me show it to me because i don't believe you it's on anime news oh. network it happened yeah uh. No, that's that's stupid. They would not go to that friggin' level. Are you because, the CEO for kids? Uh if I was, I'd be out of a job. Because like, okay, there's there's some things that like, okay, they're trying to make it more like accessible, but oh my god. You're fucking kidding me. I think they also remove like, you know those cartoon when people cry in cartoons like the tears shoot out of the side of their face, right? <laughs> They took yeah. those out. That happens in real life sometimes. Yeah, I'm seeing all of the changes, and it's like, okay, how much of these friggin' stories did they change? Because, like, that's... I... Because I, that's quite a leap to go from first aid kit to pizza. They're gonna change, like, the festival episode to, like, they go to McDonald's or something. Hey, that's a festival <laughs> in its own right. In America. In America, that is a festival. You bring the kids... Hey, yo, you bring all the kids to the slide five piece mcnugget okay now i'm starting to get pissed off at this mighty kids meal this is like wow was that burger like, king with the mighty kids meal no that's mcdonald's these first three things about like chopsticks to forks yen to dollars putting an f on a paper it's like okay makes sense all the rest of these Really freaking stupid. Oh, yeah, the F is pretty funny, too, because it has a bunch of check marks and it says zero, and then they just added an F, so it looks like a really mean teacher or something that writes, like, zero in one corner, then F in the other. Kids don't get number scores in America. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I guess. I guess they just don't care. I guess they don't understand that a zero could also be as bad as an F, because you got no points. They failed math. <laughs> and then I'm seeing the freaking time capsule thing and how they changed this girl's like doll to a book or something strong independent women uh all of this is so dumb let's boycott it i'm not gonna watch doraemon it's over we got mickey mouse son all right whatever i i don't want to turn the whole episode and just how this is so mind-bogglingly stupid me neither what do you think goofy would say about this Gorsh, Mickey, this sure sucks ass. Yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. But all right, let's let's get back on to why we're here today. We are here today to honor the life of anime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anime funeral. President, whatever. That's Doctor Whatever. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Why? Dr. President? Yeah. Alright, so we elected Dr. President as king of anime. And my first order was to have everybody watch The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. Yes, sir. I watched this okay. film. <laughs> Alright. This is ridiculous. Alright. We're watching, the, we watched the movie. Everyone seen the movie. It's your American duty. Can we all agree that we watched the movie? I can. I'm now, gonna... Jack and I have seen the movie. I am a proud American, so of course I watched it. Good. That's what I want to hear. Now. Thank you, Dr. President. That's not me. I'm not Dr. President. Well, you don't even know where your president is? You need to read a book. So anyway, back to this movie, film. 
movie film, yes, back to it. Girl who leapt through time. What what can I say? What can you say? That is really the question. <laughs> How many times have you How seen many this times? movie? How many times the movie? Oh, how many times have I seen this movie? Okay, okay. I've seen this movie at least five times, but I'm sure it's more. When was the first time? Man, I was like in high school when I first saw this movie. So it was probably right when it came out. Yeah, I think it was probably the year it came out is when I I downloaded it because it was all, everyone was talking about it. So I I got it. It was Uh, 2006 is when it came out. All right, that must have been it then. I saw a clip of it at Comoricon. You couldn't buy it; it just had come out, and it was 2006, so nothing was getting licensed right away, like Crunchyroll and stuff. So I, I had to find it somewhere. But now you can, which you should. Okay, I don't really need to watch it anymore because <laughs> I've seen it so much. But I guess I could technically buy it and support support these people. I don't know. It's a really good movie. I thought it was really great. It's the kind of movie that you can show. It, you know, it's got that kind of... That mass appeal that you can yeah, show it to anyone. Like, I'm trying to like say how it's, into anime. it's not like Miyazaki, but it is in no. the way that it's like a movie that people who like Miyazaki could watch and not really associate it with the weird anime kids. They're just like, oh, it's just a good movie. Yeah, it definitely has that kind of feel about it. It's, it's directed by Mamoru Hosoda, who also did Wolf Children yep. and Summer Wars, which are both movies we've talked about on this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I watched it for the first time like about a week or so ago. Yeah, it's it's definitely a really good movie. It's an eight year old movie. Do we really need to like su- uh, tell people what it's about if they have never heard of it before or haven't seen it? That is our job. We told told everyone what Pat Labor was about. How good was Girl Who Left Through Time compared to how good we talked it up to you? Because that's I was afraid that we were saying it was the best movie ever and that oh the yeah, it might yeah, have been over advertised to you. Well, I mean, we could talk about that later, but... <laughs> oh, uh, masterful. Anyway, anyways, this is a movie that's about... It's apparently a sort of kind of sequel to a Japanese novel, and because they, like, sort of hint at one of the older characters being, like, being the original character from that novel, but now it's, like, in modern time. It's kind of a spinoff. It's sort of like a spinoff, I guess. But you can definitely watch it without any kind of connection. If you've never read the novel, you can still watch this movie. It's basically just about ordinary high school girl and her two friends. And she's, she'd been having a fairly ordinary life, except she also had an extremely unlucky day. She was having things explode on her in, like, what was it, like, home at class. People were running into her. She was losing papers and... Then it all sort of got topped off with the fact that uh, her bike's brakes weren't working when she was going downhill and smacked right into a train. But because of her forward momentum from hitting the, like, the, uh, I don't know what it is, like the the rail. The gates, like the the stopper gates. Yeah, like she hits that and then like she starts flying through the air and then when she lands, she finds that She's actually gone back in time, like, I don't know, what was it, like a few minutes? How far back does she go back when she leaps? Can she choose? I can't remember. She doesn't choose. She just kind of, well, she kind of does. She, like, wills it to happen. Like, wherever she is thinking about is the place she kind of appears. So I think the first time she goes all the way back to the very beginning of the morning. She, like, rolls out because she jumps. You know, she hits the guardrail and goes over the thing. But then, like, is rolling into her kitchen uh, that, it's really hard to keep track of how many times she does it and like wins each one happens. But I think the first one, uh, she's either in the morning and doesn't know what's went on, or she's at the at the at night and is like, "What?" Because she also has a big debacle with her pudding being eaten by her sister. Yeah, that happened later. That happened later when she uh, decided to like test it for real. Well, it happens a lot. Every time she comes back, they make reference to that, so you know like what point in the day you're at. Yeah. Uh, but I think it was just a few minutes where she ended up being back on the hill uh, that, earlier. Yeah, that might be it. And then, like, the old woman's, like, yelling her out, basically, like... You oh! Is that the all... first one that happens? Yeah, because I... she, she hits a lady on her way down down the hill. Yeah. And she's like, what are you doing? Knock that off. And then... Yeah. But she, like, just mows down this lady and, and her, like, grandson or whatever. And then 
yeah, she blows by him on her bike because her bike can't stop. But then when she time leaps, she leaps to a point in which she hit that lady and then fell down and didn't was didn't continue moving. Yeah. And basically, then she talked to her aunt about it, and she's like, oh, yeah, you can leap through time. And she's like, that's impossible. Well, her aunt is basically humoring her the entire yeah, time. Yeah, that's kind of what I got. Really? Yeah, she I, doesn't... No, she's not some sort of esper that like, understands what's going on. <laughs> I, I, I disagree. I thought that kind of in the very first time I saw it, but then, no. it's She's just like, oh, yeah, girls can do that, you know? Like, when they go through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that part, like, I feel like maybe she was kind of humoring her but like definitely later on she was like it was she was talking about being able to do this stuff like the the aunt basically just hears her stories all the time because she goes and visits her aunt whenever she wants whatever and i don't know she just sort of is humoring her and talking to her about whatever and, you know you're not going to say like you're a liar and you don't know what you're talking about you're just like okay well if you le- leapt, like, then here's, like, how I would deal with that situation. No, she's she's definitely the original girl who leapt through time. That's the thing. N- no, I don't believe that. I don't yeah, think that. she is. Like I, like, I read up on the plot of the novel, and, like, her story near the end, like, it syncs up almost perfectly. I don't know if that's, like, a point, a plot point that happens in the show. Well, what? People just watching the movie for the first time, the aunt doesn't just say oh, I'm an esper and I have magic powers. It's just kind of like she's the cooler adult that this girl goes to when her parents are just yelling at her to study. Yeah, I get that. But even so, like, it's it's made fairly evident that she actually has some firsthand experience in this. And she's not just humoring her. She actually has She actually knows what she's talking about. If you're a Japanese audience who have grown up in a culture where that novel is a classic that you would immediately put that together like even if you've never read it and so i feel like that's kind of the same thing they were sort of trying to go for um like obviously it's kind of lost on an american audience i mean there's a translation out for it now but it didn't come out until after the movie did but even so i feel like like that was definitely intentional was that they tried to make her like the original girl yeah, I guess, like, if you want to skip to the end and say that, but when you just watch it the first time, it's just, oh, she's humoring her. Yeah, she's such a minor character that it doesn't it doesn't matter. She's just like, okay, this girl, I'm not going to just tell her she's dumb. No, I mean, it's, the way it's presented, it makes it seem like she, she just knows, and it's not even a thing of, like, I'm only doing this because it, I'm humoring you and just being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel like she's doing a thing that's like, like, it's more like a, yeah, I get it. You can go through time. I did it before. So, you know. I didn't like, get that from it at all. That's that's totally what I got. That, that was my immediate thing was like, oh, okay. I thought like that could be, and that's as far as it went. And then I just immediately dropped that theory. Like, no, that's, I don't think that's true. That's the theory I stuck with the whole time. That's the only one that made sense. That's the only one that made sense. It doesn't not. I'm pretty sure it makes a lot of sense that she isn't. She's just. No, it makes sense, especially like the longer it goes on and the more that happens in the story. It's just like, yeah, okay. I, yeah, she, she does this stuff. She, she knows this is the original girl. That's immediately what I thought. But anyways, getting off this tangent that we've gone on, uh, basically the other high school, the, the new girl this girl, uh, she's like, she doesn't believe her, and she's like, they can't do, I can't do that, I, you can't travel through time. So then she finds this, like, hill that goes into, like, a river, and she just decides to run down it, and just jump, and just leap forward. She tries this after a bunch of failed attempts to leap. She doesn't jump out of her window, but she, like, jumps off the bed, and, like, tries to roll around and do jump into weird places. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That I remember because uh, uh, she tried to jump out of the uh, the window, and her s- sister came in, and she's like, "No, please don't. You can't jump. Please. Is it because like, I ate no, your pudding?" I'm, yeah, that was pretty funny. She's like, "No, she's I'm like, just trying, like, trying to leap through time. Like, what are you doing? Get out of here." <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, but then she does finally go out to uh, a more expansive place to leap, and then she does it. She leaps in time. She 
finds herself in the kitchen. Well, or I think in her house or something. But uh, she goes down. She finds the pudding in her kitchen, and she's. That's when she pretty much pieces together. Yeah, I can leap through time. To me, her whole handling of the situation is just like, okay, time travel's a thing. Let's do yeah. this. <laughs> I'd be more like astounded at what what just happened. But not her. She's just like, cool, let's redo this day. This day sucked so hard. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't do the same thing? You wouldn't just start traveling around and having fun? Yeah, immediately. Like, <laughs> she's well, not even weighing the consequences, like, whatsoever about time travel that no one else can do ever in the history of humanity. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Um, but she she definitely starts getting that power, and it's just, like, she reacts like how most kids her age would. It's just using it for personal gain and just doing whatever. So she redoes her entire day, um, and it goes better for her, and she just ha- starts having a lot of fun with the powers. Uh, she, like, I think probably the best use she probably did uh, when she was just messing around was that she went to karaoke with her two friends, and every time they that they ran out of time, she would leap back in time again, and... Like, they would just keep going. And then she got back home, and her voice is shot. And her mom was was like, how long were you doing karaoke that your voice got like that? She's like, ten hours. Hmm. (laughs) Yeah, she's just having a grand old time with it. And it was actually kind of funny. But then, uh, obviously, uh, she starts realizing that there's some actual consequences to what she has to to the power she has. Uh, basically she needs to learn how to grow up and figure out how to be a responsible adult because with great power comes great responsibility, blah, 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 blah. So Japan loves time traveling. Yeah, basically. It's just a, yeah, this was a really good movie. It had some really good animation. It was super fluid and super good to look at and watch. Voice acting was kind of weird, honestly. Did you watch it dubbed? No, I watched it in the original Japanese. And it's like, they had this weird sort of like realistic-ish approach where the voices, for the most part, especially for the main character, I don't know how to how to describe it. It's like they weren't trying to act, which would sound like a good thing, but it also sounds like they're not like trying to act. Don't you like that, though? Like... Wasn't it you who's always just like, just be yourself. You don't have to act out. Well, no, here's, there's a difference. It's, I know we talked about this, the whole like thing with how like you prefer to just go like have over the top voices for stuff or whatever. And I said, well, sometimes depending on the thing, you need to sound more like a regular person. But, and if it was like that, I'd be fine with it. But the voice acting in this sounds less like, they're like they're acting like regular people and more like they're regular people who don't know how to act and i can't even begin to tell you what the difference between that is like i don't know i i wasn't really fond of it 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 didn't sound convincing for the most part is it just distracting when you're used to like your regular voice actors no i mean well i mean i picked up on it i'm like all right this is a very different style but like I, I, again, it didn't sound like regular, or like, all right, this is a regular person. It sounded like this is someone who's just in the booth and clearly reading off the script and not really doing much else other than that. I mean, it was a little better than that. It wasn't quite that, like, as bad as me having just said that out loud. But, like, it, I feel like it wasn't quite as polished enough. And I guess it works sort of sometimes but for the most part it just comes across as sounding like like these weren't like people who were professional voice actors they were like celebrities or something has anybody seen the english dub no i haven't that's for sure i might watch it again dubbed because this was a good movie but uh as of this moment i have not i've seen it so many times in japanese i don't know if i could watch it dubbed it'd be like watching like die hard in french or something weird (laughs) Yeah, kind of. So how good was it, Willis? Was it as good as we made it out to be? It was not as good as you said it was. 
I would not say this is like the best thing ever. I would say that it's still a very good movie, definitely worth watching. At least I'm not in a position where I'm saying like, oh, this movie sucks. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like, yeah, it's a decent movie. It's even a very good movie. But I wouldn't exactly be the kind of person who'd be like, oh man, this is like one of my top favorites of all time. I mean, it didn't necessarily do anything wrong, but it didn't do anything that was like, it didn't connect with me quite as strongly as like some other movies have. Again, it, the voice acting, I still have mixed feelings about it. Laven, what about you? Isn't this one of your favorites, one of your tops? Yeah, it is. I really don't know what Willis is talking about. Well, why is it one of your favorites? What makes it so good? I really like the voice acting. I didn't think that it was bad at all. I'm trying to, like, like in my head, remember some of these things that he's saying where it's like sounds like it's being acted from a script. And I'm like, no, I don't think of it that way. I don't think that it sounded that way. I did. I do remember it sounding different, but I, I was on board with it. I liked everybody's voice. I thought they matched, and I thought they were, did a good job acting. I don't know. It sounded like the kind of voice acting that was in later Ghibli movies that if you watch them in Japanese specifically, like they, cause like even Miyazaki was being like, yeah, I don't want voice actors in my movies. I want celebrities and stuff. They do lend a certain element to it. That's different than what voice actors do. And, but it does sound unpolished sometimes. Well, that's fine. It doesn't need to be polished. It just seems to be the lines delivered in a like a way that a trained actor can do. No, it's training in the way a screen actor would do and not in the way a voice actor would do. And I feel like they're two different fields that like they like you'd still need to like have more focus on doing stuff with the voice that a lot of screen actors tend to tend to neglect. I think that it can be too dramatic and too focused specifically to be a voice performance sometimes and i think that's where a lot of voice actors throw me off and i don't like it whereas this it just sounds like they're they're reading reading the script like they're sitting around a table doing their lines which i think sounds fine it's not too overacted like it can be sometimes i think like i understand where you're coming from that like they could have been like way more over the top with this and i do like that they tried to have a more realistic kind of performance but it feels like but it it does feel like this is like maybe like the first or second time they've read through the script and it's not really like all right this is how i'm gonna actually perform it it's like they're just like okay i'm just gonna read the lines and it doesn't sound like it, they don't sound like the character they just sound like the actor so would you guys both agree that it's very much like kind of a realistic kind of movie? Even though there's a time travel element, it's not very anime-esque. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's not too mm-hmm. out there. It's not like this weird Japanimation, Japan land craziness. It's like, yeah. no, this is a movie that could be told in any form. Pretty much, yeah. It is. It is a very grounded kind of time travel, sort of. Nothing is an anime trope that makes yeah. it specifically like tied to this medium it's just a story that happens to be animated or at least the anime ones that are there are pretty accessible like they are high school living in a japanese house or whatever but i think that's like a lot of drama in japan anyway that doesn't have to be animated yeah Yeah. i mean it's it's definitely just one of those uh, movies that like it could be anything but I, I appreciated that it was animated because, like, they made it look good and stuff. But, like, this could easily be something that's live action and, you know, you don't really have to do all that much to change it. Like, I don't know. That can actually be kind of refreshing to not have, like, crazy explosions or, like, weirdly animated characters or over-the-top uh, motions or things like that. It's not niche at all like the appeal is really wide like anybody yeah. could watch it and understand romance or growing up yeah yeah it's just one of those for everyone kind of movies i thought it did everything well yeah um i would say that 
for the most part, it did do things very solidly. And, yeah, it is a very good movie. I will give it that. Is it just the voice acting, or is there anything else that you didn't like about it? The rest of my complaints would be about the story, but even then they'd be, like, nitpicks. Like, for the most part, it is still a well-told story. It's just that there's, like, certain little aspects of it that, I don't know, either irked me the wrong way, or I didn't quite, like, feel like, oh, this is great, or amazing, or something like that. They never really came back, well, I mean, they did come back to that home at kid who uh, she switched places with on her first uh, do-over of that day, and now uh, that kid was, like, he was really pissed off, and he was doing a lot of, like, bad stuff. But I feel like after that point where, like, he had his, like, little revenge spree, uh, they never really came back to him. Well, he was he wasn't a main character in any capacity. He was just there to show you the point at which things were becoming awry and there needs to be a resolution to the conflict. Yeah, I guess you're right. There was also I I feel for me was was just a little too much um romantic subplots going on. Like, oh, you didn't like that at all? Well, I mean, you know Laven, he loves romance. I mean, it was okay at first, but then it turned into like a weird like love pentagon kind of thing. And what? Yeah, because then there was because it's like there's the main girl, and then there's these two guys that her are her best friends, and then there That's are also three. the two other girls who like them, who like those guys. Those don't count. And those so girls are not part of it. It's I don't sort think of like a love pentagon was, where it's like they both like her, but then they also uh, uh, there are also these other girls that like those guys, and so gone? it's like all right. I don't know. You might be. Wait a second. Willis. Hold on. No. No. Damn it. Damn yeah, it. Was. Damn it. Close your torrent. Ah! All right. Well, okay. Can we get back to this now? Yeah. What were you saying? I think I was talking about a love pentagon. Oh yeah. Yeah. We were telling you how that's not true. You're shipping them too hard. Um. Well, I said that there was the, you know, there's. There's the main girl, and there are her two best friends, and then those two best friends uh, both like her, but they also both have other girls that like them. So it's like a love pentagon. Or like a weird love V. Kind of. They don't really act on it, except for the main, like, interest going on. Well, I feel like both, like, all of them do, in some degree. And, I don't know, it gets wrapped up in a lot of that kind of high school drama kind of thing. And, I mean, I didn't hate it, but it was a little bit much that there were, like, both sides were doing this, and it's like, okay, whatever. So it's just, like, not your kind of genre? Well, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that maybe that particular love story was a bit too interconnected. I don't know. I, I'd still say it's a really good movie. I can't think of anything else that I, like, particularly hate about it or anything. Not that there was much to hate. It was mostly just nitpicks. It's a solid movie, and people should go see it. That's right. Amen. Does anybody else have anything else to say about this movie? No, I don't think so. Unless one of you guys do. Uh, I haven't seen it in probably the longest time. Laven, when's the last time you saw it? That's a good question. I'm trying to remember. I think it was just like last year. Like in August or so. Were you showing it to somebody? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, a lady. You doing the old Willis tactic? Hmm. I'm not sure how to answer that. I'm not. I don't know what you're implying. Um. You bring a girl home and show her your finest anime. Yeah. Every time I showed her Akira, she got pissed and left. <laughs> <laughs> what did your friend think of a girl who left through time? Yeah, she thought it was alright. She's like, oh. It's fine. It's no Miyazaki. And I was like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> There's no accounting for good taste, I guess. That's true. I dumped her. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like Akira, you can get the fuck out of my face. Well, I didn't say that. I was thinking it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, uh, we should probably not be delving into our personal lives here on on live internet radio. It's not live. And by live internet radio, I mean pre-recorded and re- released. A... I don't know how many times I'm going to have to tell you guys it's not live. One of these days it's going to be live, and you you guys will be so happy to say it's live. I didn't say live at all today or last episode. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, we're getting better. I give you a zero. I don't know what that means. TL note, that's an F. Oh. <laughs> now I get it. All right, well, what do you, what do you, you said you, you give it a one out of ten? Is that what we're ending with? I'm ending it with an eight out of ten. Solid. Good. I certainly don't give it a zero. That was a good show. I thought Willis should expand his rides as Horizons, and he did. So I'm very proud. What should we make him watch next? What should we watch next? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's watch Haruhi next. What? The movie or the show? Any of it. We're talking about Haruhi next week. All right. No, I no, I motion. thought we were talking about Tank Police. Well, season canceled. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> <What>? canceled. <laughs> Christmas is canceled. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> You're watching Haruhi, son. <laughs> I, what? What? No. No. Either you no. watch Haruhi or we, you will not be on the next episode. Bullshit. I'll get the scraper no. and just erase your name from your parking spot. No, 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 I'm not... Willis, I just got your parking space made. If I have to paint over it, I swear to God. <laughs> Next time on Annie Bros, a screaming match will occur. Nope, no screaming. That's another thing that's not allowed. I may, in <laughs> fact, snap people's necks. No violence. Uh, see you next time, I guess. Yeah, thanks for listening. Let us know how you think the girl who leapt through time is. Send us your emails. Yes. Uh, go to us on AnnieBrosPodcast.com. Send us emails at AnnieBrosPodcast at gmail.com. That's right. You can follow us on Twitter. You can uh, like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our RSS. Subscribe to like just our WordPress if you're like a WordPress person who is on there, I guess. Yeah. I don't know how we get those weird subscriptions from people who are like trolling the main WordPress page and they just look at blogs. They're not weird. They're great. Everyone who subscribes to our thing is a really cool person with good taste. I did not not say that. I also agree. I would just like to know, how did you get into that? How is that a community of people? It's WordPress, man. It's the place to be. I guess. You follow blogs. It's old school. I'm mostly just like astounded that that way of doing it is still around and that we get likes that way. And I'm thankful. How was you guys' Thanksgiving? Don't... Uh, oh my god. I had a lot of turkey. Yeah, turkey, cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. It was a little thin this year. Uh, Mabel, she broke her hip and we had to take her to the ER. But such is how it goes down on the farm. Amen. Great. Amen.